Peaches, welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge on, of course, Pink Gen. Although the next gen is actually currently growing inside Mahina's tum tum because in the last episode, Mahina and Coral decided to start trying for a baby because Coral wants to be there, like, you know, very involved for the kid's whole life. And if he gets too old, he won't be there for the kid's whole life. So he is currently five days off aging up and he is in a great mood because there's a new addition to the family. Both of them have talked about kids and know that they're on the same page. They are like, you know, in my Quitch Living series, Simclair really hated the fact that she was pregnant. Whereas Mahina is like, this is great. We've got this. You know, I'm not like singing from the rooftops, but I am pretty happy about things as well. So we're very happy about the uh, pregnancy. And I think in today's episode, we will be getting ourselves a little bubbleroo. Now, why would you go use the toilet in there, Coral? Oh, because, oh, geez. Okay, everything is broken in here. I'm going to get Coral on some repairs. You guys also made a really good point that having an automatic feeder and an automatic poop zapper would probably help Coral's stress levels quite a lot. So I'm going to be trying to save up for those in today's episode as well. And I've also updated wonderful whims because with the update to the game wonderful whims uh, needed updating as well so we will update that and then i will use it so that we can uh do some pregnancy interactions in today's episode including going to all of the prenatal classes because as you guys mentioned coral is very organized he has like a very rational brain so i feel like he would really like to make sure he he's like fully like ready for the baby he's been to all the classes he knows the gender he's got everything prepared for it so we will make sure that he does all of that and yeah i guess we'll be finding out the gender of the baby in today's episode too so if you are still enjoying this series please don't forget to give this episode a big thumbs up keep leaving your comments below with ideas and suggestions because i've taken them on with everything we're doing in wonderful whims today and also with some updates to the flat you guys also made the good point that yeah blossom is still sleeping on a one dollar bed so i will make sure we try and sort that out in today's episode too you guys also said that whilst you do like our new roommate i don't know where she's gone you weren't really feeling the sparks francesca particularly because she's unflirty blossom is a very flirty sim so i'm thinking in today's episode francesca stayed for a little while but she wants to go and find someplace new and we'll keep an eye out for another flatmate i'm actually clicking on her i kind of feel like she's moved out anyway like i can choose a new roommate so i feel like she's kind of gone you know so let's have a look at some new roommate options there are a lot of you guys that would really like blossom to get her you know fairy tale ending maybe even meet a prince like she was writing about so often in her books which she now hates writing about she's fed up of romance only coming to life on the pages she wants romance in real life so let's see who we can find her. A lot of my townies do seem to be dead or old or linked to the family, which you guys have noticed. We do have Wyatt here who has prince energy, but also kind of surf, uh, maybe lifeguard energy. Could end up moving back to Solani with Wyatt one day. I don't know. Why don't we go ahead and invite Wyatt to be our new roommate and see what kind of vibes we get from him. Jacob is still uh, sniffing around, but you know, that relationship kind of died. And oh, look at this. We've got a new advertising opportunity for Blossom. However, <laughs> our PC is looking definitely kind of wrecky, but I'm a little bit scared of getting electrocuted. So I think I'm actually going to hire a repair service to fix that. Coral is headed into his job. He's got five days left before I can actually make him quit and join the writer career, like just become a full time writer. You guys were like thinking of all a bunch of cool reasons why he would move over and do that. And one idea that I really like is... Maybe once he has a child and, you know, Mahina is encouraging, encouraging her child to follow their dreams so much. And like Coral really wants um, his child to follow his dreams. And he's like, I've got to lead by example. So maybe he kind of realizes that he wants to also set a good example for his child and follow his own dreams too. So I really like that idea. Mahina, I know you're pregnant, but honestly, you can get good gigs while you're pregnant, you know? You won't have to use the prosthetic. It could actually work out, work out for your favor. So I'm going to try and get her a gig. And oh my gosh, Wyatt is here. The repairman is like, don't need your service today. I'm going to head off to my next client. Oh my gosh, Wyatt could die the minute I've moved him in. He's trying to fix currently our video setup. Okay, hardware and like, you know, working around the house while pregnant. Not sure if this is the right vibe, so I'm going to go void bop. And Wyatt is also already being a little bit of a Prince Charming. I'm just putting it out there, you know. Coming to our rescue, saving us so that we can do our advertising opportunity. It's a modern day, modern day chivalry. I will go ahead and check him out and cast in just a moment. And we can also check out all of his traits as well. I can see that he has no spouse, but he does have two children. Wait a minute. No. 
Yeah. No, he's a Milner. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking related to him. I am related to every Sim, I swear to God. I am pretty sure Wyatt is my half-brother. <gasps> no, he's my uncle. Okay, Wyatt, this has been really nice. Turns out you're not my Prince Charming. You're my uncle. So, I want to thank you for fixing things, but then I'm also, your, you bore the life out of me. You actually bore the life out of me. I'm then going to have to kick you out. I'm really sorry, but I'm not living with my uncle. Just don't love that setup. I don't know why you're kicking me out. Maybe because of all those weird things I did that time. Well, it was nice while it lasted. It's so long. It didn't even last two hours, friend, but whatever. Okay, August has caught my eye because my birthday's in August. So... <laughs> Let's try August next. Oh, and Jacob knows we're on the prowl. He is he is hitting on us hard this episode. Oh, look at this. Mahina is feeling happy. I can't wait to be a pregnant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't wait to be a parent. You're already pregnant. Okay, so one thing I can do is I can start building the nursery. Idle hands. Existential sadness of not making something is crept. <gasps> And I was like, no way, how have I just got into labor? But I haven't got into labor. Bubblegum has. Bubblegum was pregnant this whole time? Bubblegum is literally stealing my pregnancy thunder. Are you kidding me right now, Bubblegum? We're gonna have another car? Am I gonna even be able to have a baby if I got too many people in my household? No, I've got six. As long as Bubblegum only has one kitten or else Mahina is gonna be forever pregnant. How is Bubblegum having another baby? Bubblegum already had Pop, and now Bubblegum is literally about to have another baby. Okay, literally just as I was talking about building a nursery as well. You're having a babaloo. Oh, is that so cute? Little lickies as well. Is this Artie's baby? Are you guys having another baby? Are we going to get another like Pop clone? I think maybe we are. Okay, while we're waiting for the kittens to come along, let's go ahead and build this nursery. And um, let's also check out the next gen. So the next gen is going to be Peach. Your mother has taught you to follow her dreams. You've wanted to do be a detective. You also want to be a comedian. Well, dang it, you can do both. Detective by day, comedian by night. So we're going to go for a Peach flavored nursery. We've got to marry a co-worker. Play an instrument, master gourmet cooking and comedy, master the detective career and live in a different world to the one he or she was raised in. I'm excited for this episode because I like the idea of marrying a co-worker, especially if we're in the detective career because we'll actually go to work with them. And it's been so long since I've been to work with a sim. Like literally, I kind of feel like I haven't done this since Minzy. Like I know when with Mahina, we've been to the acting job, but we've not been to it for like one of our actual main, like main not so berry sims. So I'm really excited for Peach Jen. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a little uh, peach nursery. I have no idea if she's expecting like twins or, I mean, it doesn't say anything about twins. Like this gen doesn't require twins. I still might do it just like, if she does have twins, like that's fine. It doesn't really bother me. We'll just pick whichever one's best. But since it doesn't like specifically say anything, I think it would be kind of, I don't know. I'm not getting twin energy from peach gen. We'll see. I kind of do imagine them having a younger sibling though. I don't know. I kind of feel like the detective thing, like wanting to figure things out wanting to do what's right kind of does like nicely correlate with having a younger sibling i'm also kind of realizing straight away how do i differentiate peach from pink and orange because i feel like i could get into a situation where they all end up looking really similar like what is peach hair versus orange hair because that just looks like orange to me so i don't really know what to do here if any of you guys have any suggestions please let me know them in the comments below because i'm a little bit confused okay so i think we've done a pretty good job i feel like this is peach right here i feel like that's peach but we've done a pretty good job with the toddler room while coral is at work you guys also made the really good point that <laughs> uh, blossom has a one dollar bed i mean it does have an 80 dollar frame but i will definitely get her a nicer bed so let's do that next okay there we go now she's got a big very comfy looking bed, actually. Oh, and I've run out of money. Okay, that is as far as we can go. But once, actually, we've had our royalty repayments. Once uh, Coral gets back from work, we can... <gasps> oh, no, we can't because I'm trying to save money for all the appointments. Okay, money. I'm clearly still struggling with the money distribution a little bit, but it's fine because you're going to upload your video and earn some money from this. Mahina, I would send you on an odd job, but you're pregnant and I kind of... I feel like you should be relaxing. So why don't you come in here and have a little... Ooh, you can promote the massage territory on Simstagram. You are an actress. So it does make total sense. <gasps> and another kitten has been born. What would you like to call him? Bubblegum has literally given birth again. So it will still be uh, Berry and Car Bubblegum Berry. I mean, it's that's literally the mother's name, but okay. Richie 
Run! Oh my gosh, no! Little Buddy Berry! That's actually kind of cute. But our last one was called Pop. So we have Bubblegum, Pop, and... What's another cute name? I'm gonna go Snap. I'm kind of going Snap, Crackle, and Pop. But is it a crackle? It's bubblegum. But they were like uh, Rice Krispies or like, was it Rice Krispies? Okay, so there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, perfect. Because this is, this can be crackle. <gasps> no, you can't have all these babies because now I can't fit any babies in. Wait a minute. <laughs> those, those, those are different looking to what I was expecting. Okay, bubblegum. Who, who's the father here? We now have tigers. We've got two tigers in the house. We also have one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight household members, which means I cannot fit a baby in the house, even though Mahina is pregnant. Okay, this is a little bit of a difficult situation that I did not expect to find myself in today. <gasps> And Coral's been promoted to a senior manager. I thought you're just so happy about that, Coral. To be fair, you probably are because you need the money, let's face it. But yeah, Coral. Um, so the good news is the nursery is done. The bad news is we now have two more household members because, yeah, the cat gave birth. The cat just straight up gave birth. And Blossom has been recognized as a rising star from uploading her video. Okay, that's bro. So I have enough money to finish off your bedroom, Blossom. But I really need to get you like a uh, all hitched up and happy with the next part of your life because I can't fit you in the household inventory anymore. I'm literally running out of space for you. So I kind of need you to, you know, I don't want to force an exit out of you, but I kind of need you to, I need you to leave the series as a main character soon because I can't fit you in the series anymore. And I'm like, who could I give the kittens to? And the only people I can think of are Clem and Keenan. And I'm like, do I want to give them kittens? I don't know if I do. Oh my gosh. Did you just have the most viral video ever? You just gained 210,000 followers. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You are so freaking famous right now. Hello. Okay, so... That's wild, but Blossom's doing really freaking well. I kind of feel a bit sorry for the roommate because this is their bed situation and this is uh, Blossom's now, which is pretty swaggy, but we've still not seen hair and a tail of this roommate. Oh, no. I was like, the roommate's here, but no, it is. Oh, I thought it was the guy that keeps delivering our babies, but it's actually not. It is, however, a B-lister. A B-lister celebrity who is actually a fan of us, even though we're a rising star. What? Blossom, what? is happening right now we'll get gifts in the mail oh my gosh yes this is amazing oh hello oh and just as our roommate then turns up okay uh, do i now somehow have a few romantic opportunities it kind of feels like i do sort of out of nowhere however i've just realized i've also kind of spent up all of my money and i meant to pay for some money to do some baby stuff so do i have anything in my inventory i can sell yeah let's sell all these like plumbing parts and whatnot because i would like you guys to go to some classes and whatnot so pregnancy and family let's organize to provide organize how we're going to pay for this baby i just got promoted to work so you know that's pretty amazing it's not the job i want to do but it is going to help us out a lot with the baby. Then let's go to an early pregnancy class together. I never imagined Coral being surrounded by cats. But here we are, surrounded by cats. I genuinely didn't expect that to be Coral's future. But it kind of is. So there we go. They're heading into class together. You're feeling very sad. I'm going to be a terrible parent. My child will hate me. You are all over the place with your hormones. It's understandable. Don't worry. And I've made good enough friends with Minato that I can now talk to him despite the fact that he's a celebrity. Honestly, dating him would actually help me out with my growing celebrity career quite a lot. Why don't we change out of our uh, coffee outfit? And yeah, I am, you know, I'm a rising YouTuber. You're, uh, you're a big deal. You are a bit of a silver fox, but we could check him out in cuss and have a little nosy. Let me do that real quick. Wait, spouse. Okay, no, 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 no. Not touching that with a barge pole. Still though, celebrity friends will help us out with our career all the same. And the last video I made her do that worked really well was a product review on like beauty products. So I'm gonna get to do that again because apparently she's really good at it. Okay, so Coral's feeling very focused from learning the important stuff. Gosh, there's so much to take care of with babies. No matter if you've done it before or not, all the info gets overwhelming. Coral is focusing hard on trying to integrate everything. Oh, Jacob has popped around. 
I kind of forgot he's walking in the back of our videos as well. He's like, maybe if the commenters notice me, then, you know, Blossom will, will keep getting asked about me and then we'll have to start dating again. Jacob, you had your chance and you kind of blew it, friend. And all this is good. Okay, we've come back now feeling very confident. The class went well. The class was fast. We didn't retain much information, but it was still helpful enough. Okay, bro. Why don't you come in here and get a little foot massage? A little foot massage from Coral because, you know, you are having his baby. So I kind of feel like it's fair. Look yeah. at this. I bet like Coral is such a good partner. I thought you might take the boots off first. It's actually really impressive that you're doing a foot massage through that, let's face it. But she's feeling embarrassed. She's feeling a little bit stressed about this whole pregnancy. And she needs like a sensible head, a sensible head like a uh, Coral to make her feel a little bit better. And look at him, look at this whole baby. That's exactly what he's doing because he's so freaking sweet and amazing. Even if we do have meowing cats literally everywhere. Fabulous feet. Your souls haven't felt that good in a while. And now thinking of feet, she's going in here to look at, look how tiny baby feet are. They're going to be so small. And you're growing that. You're growing the next gen, Mahina. It's going to be so beautiful. And I'm feeling like Jacob. It's 11 p.m. You're still here. I think it's time to take that key back, friend. And oh my gosh, I need to get my skates on with Blossom because she's feeling love long. Romantic sims need to show love and have it shown to them. However, I'm using my roommate as a way to like find myself a love interest. Is this my roommate? August? Okay, here is August, right. Oh, actually potentially attractive NPC. No spouse. Okay, L Curry. I don't feel as though you're related to me. I'm gonna go and check you out in cuss. Okay, you do have the biggest eyes I've ever seen. So I might make your eyes a little bit smaller, but I think we've done pretty well here. We've got an art lover, loner, bookworm, who is also a freelance botanist. Please don't be related to us. Just as long as you're not related to us, that will be fine. And let's work a little bit of cast magic on him. Ooh, new eyebrows. Hello. They're pretty good. I feel like he's quite a good looking sim. I feel we've looked out here. I also feel like, you know, if any of my sims ever was meant to end up finding love, Blossom is definitely on that list. Like, we've gotta, we've gotta find her someone because she's not meant to be alone, you know? I feel like she's definitely the kind of sim who, who wants to try and find love in her life. And she has been for most of her life. So could August be the uh, Prince Charming that she wrote about all this time? Let me know what you guys think. Okay, August, hopefully you're not in the family tree. I don't think you are, but I'm just really hoping you're not. Okay, but obviously while I've got him here hanging outside looking, honestly, I. <laughs> I'm simping. Obviously she's at work. However, she finishes work in 28 minutes. If you don't mind just standing by this fire hydrant for 28 minutes, that would be just so helpful, so helpful. And look, life gives you lemons, but it also gives you Augusts. So I think that's nice. Okay, Mahina, you have your audition at 12 today. So, oh wow, we are looking pretty pregnant right now. You are in trimester two. You try start trimester three in 16 hours. So once Coral gets home from work, you got work in three hours, you're still doing that nine to five. But once you have done that, you guys are gonna go and find out the gender of the baby tonight. So I'm excited, very excited for you guys. Oh, Blossom's back up. <laughs> okay, to keep you in a good mood before you head into your audition, I would like to, okay, I can't afford anything. I wanted to get you um, to go and buy a gift for the upcoming Babalaroo, but I can't do it. It's fine. Whatever. We'll wait. And Blossom, 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 you are home. You are feeling lovelorn, but I think we can go ahead and change that. Why don't you go introduce yourself to August? And also Mahina's feeling her pregnancy emotions and hormones are so all over the place. Why don't we go ahead and give her a nice hand massage? Oh, an attractiveness alert. Wow, what a sim. Blossom just stopped what they were doing and found themselves thinking about August. Oh my gosh, and now she's flirty. Oh, <gasps> She's super attracted to him. Is this the first time she's had someone? Was she super attracted to Jacob actually? Jacob is extremely attractive. August is extremely attractive as well. So she is very, very into him. And she's already dropping the flirty, flirty voice. <gasps> and they have sentiments together already. I'm like watching them over this really spiky succulent, but why don't we, ooh, why don't we go ahead and do a little flirt while we are feeling very, very attracted. <gasps> I've never had woo woo. Wait a minute. Neither has Blossom. <gasps> why does it just keep getting cuter and cuter? 
Let's ask if he's single, because, you know, we know that he doesn't have a spouse, but he is like a sim that's just been vibing about doing his own thing for a while, so he ca he could have a girlfriend. He's not a maid sim, he is just like an NPC. Although we're also getting offers for dates. Can I give someone else your number? Okay, August has the artist personality type. Well, we're a creator too. He doesn't like pop music or mission decor. He has a sage personality type. We know that he's a loner, and it feels like they're getting along quite well. I'm kind of feeling like with Blossom as well. Now that she's not pink gen sim and also now that she seems to be going down this whole uh YouTuber kind of vibes, I kind of wanted to give her a little bit a little bit of a refresh because you know she wants a new look every time she records a video. So I just wanted to see her with some non-pink looks especially as we get onto peach gen. If we do end up like making Blossom still part of the series but not played anymore it would be nice to leave her on a bit of a different look. And she does very much suit a blonde. She does suit blonde. I love Blossom so much and she's honestly like so fun to dress up that I'm gonna really miss having her around but it's also fun dressing up Mahina too. Oh my gosh it's so weird seeing her blonde. But she would be switching her look up a bunch. I think she looks a bit older and I don't know. She's starting to get famous. She's starting to kind of do her own thing. So I think it makes sense that we uh, mix up her appearance a little bit. Oh! <gasps> And Bubblegum has aged up. Bubblegum has now passed her peak and has become an elderly cat. So at least no more kittens. Bubblegum had three kittens. I feel like, ooh, not liking something. Not liking the new look. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's a bit shy. Maybe he doesn't know where to look right now. I don't know. But um, I'm gonna leave these guys to it. Yeah, no more babies from Bubblegum. That's it. That is the last of the babies. Three. Probably the most a sim has given me ever. Mahina's down again, bless her. So I'm gonna get her a little face mask to try and cheer herself up a little bit. She wants, like, she's happy that she's pregnant, but she's struggling. Like, some people just have difficult pregnancies, and she's definitely having a difficult pregnancy. And we just got all our royalty reports. We got 4K. So I'm gonna get her a gold face mask because you deserve it, my love. There you go. Look at that. Your face is literally sparkling. Oh my gosh, maybe I should try and bring you to a spa. Are the spas much different? I don't know. She'd have to go seek a, seek a bit of company with a meal though. She doesn't want to eat on her own. So she's going to come and hang out with these guys. Oh, and now we're angry. Okay. <laughs> but I guess you can meet August. She's going to announce her pregnancy, although it's kind of obvious. It's kind of obvious at this point, but she's like, Hi, I live next door. I'm pregnant. I have gold face. <laughs> Awful lot to take in. Awful lot to take in. Oh, and she's heading off to her audition with a gold face. Oh my gosh. If she gets this audition, I'm actually going to be amazed. A gold face mask and an angry, angry face underneath it too. Which leaves these two home alone together. I am going to go in for a bit of romance. Oh no. <laughs> And okay, wait, what's up, Blossom? Your name has been everywhere recently. Just when we're starting to get a bit of flirtations in there. Keenan shows up. Keenan with his wrinkly forehead and his bees. Also, Keenan brought bees and is kind of freaking out about the bees. Great. Dad, not, not ideal timing. Oh, he's distracted by the cats anyway. Do you want a cat? actually. Would you like a kin? Can I do that? Can I like adopt out my cuts? Because I, I can't have a baby at the moment. There's not enough room. This could be like, you know, a beautiful circle of life. You bought us kittens when we were younger. Those kittens have now had kittens. So you could have one if you want. Only problem is I have literally no idea how to do it. Where's Snap? Okay, Snap is in here. How do I adopt out a kitten? Hmm, I've looked online. Apparently you can't choose who gets your kitten. So I may just more like move the kittens into let, let's like we'll talk to dad about it and be like do you mom want a pair of kittens like you know their brother their brothers it's kind of like you're getting kids back again but you know they're cats and also the cats are orange like clem's hair so it's kind of perfect there is snap here snap who is a free spirit aloof and a prowler and then Crackaloo is playful, aloof, and curious. See? Pretty good cats! Also, Snap has orange eyes. Like, uh, you know, mom's hair again. <gasps> oh my gosh, Crackle has different color eyes. <gasps> Crackle has heterochromia! There's one blue eye and one green eye! What? Oh, I don't want to give them up. They're so freaking cute! But I can't have a baby if I keep the kittens. Oh, this feels so... I don't want to do it! I don't actually want to do it! <gasps> Me and a pastor interview. Okay, you can have the kittens for one more day and then they're gonna have to go to our parents' house in Solani. I'm afraid they're just gonna have to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the conversation has got very flirty in here. <laughs> I know this is moving fast, but I kind of need it to. And she's super attractive. 
attracted to him, so I can do things a lot quicker than I think I should be able to do them, which is kind of perfect. Ooh, it's going well. It's going well. I am pretty sure El Kahuri. I don't think that's on my family tree. Let me just check, because you know what we're like. Any El Kahuris? We've got fires on this side, and Conrad's up at the top. Conrad's and Foreman's. And then on this side, we've got Milner's and Jensen's. And obviously the berries. I don't think we're related. Do you know how rare that is? Do you know how rare that actually is? We found someone we share no DNA with. Oh, this seems a bit soon, but I'm gonna go for it. In the sim world, which is amazing. Doesn't want kids at the moment. Okay, fair. We are just young adults. It's fine. <gasps> because neither, neither does Blossom. Okay, these two are actually low-key the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm shipping quite hard. Do I have a first kiss option? I smile about you when I'm alone. I smile thinking about you when I'm alone. Well, that's cute. But where is- First kiss! Okay, boom. Oh, is he gonna serenade me? What? He's serenading us! Oh my gosh! I don't know why he's got guitar or why he can play it so well. He is an artist, I guess. Oh, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> okay. He just he just started serenaders and out of nowhere. This is so freaking cute. Okay, you gotta do it. You've gotta do it. After that beautiful serenade, which was actually really good as well, we're gonna do our first kiss. If it happens, if it goes well. Okay. I think we've definitely found love for Blossom, guys. I think we most definitely have. The litter tray is gross, but you're not meant to do it while you're pregnant, so I'm not gonna make Mahina do that. You can give them some foodies, though. And then once Coral gets home, which is in five minutes' time, we're gonna find out the gender of the baby. Oh, and he's so tense. Desperate for fun. Literally tired and tense and tense and tired. But it's important that we find baby out tonight, so baby gender. Now, can I make them do this together or do I click on like her and send her separately? Hmm, I think I'd have to send her. So what I will do to make it seem as though they're going together, I'm gonna get her to discover the baby's gender, 200 pounds. And Coral, I am gonna, he always comes in and checks on his sister first thing, which is so cute. Coral, I will get to instead go and buy something to add to the nursery. And then both of them will be leaving the house at the same time together. Um, we can say that they're going to go and discover baby's gender together. You still have this gold face mask on. Oh my gosh, babes, take, take, the, take the face mask off. Don't put gold on your face for that long. Oh my gosh, it's gonna absorb into the baby's blood screw stream. The baby's gonna have gold hair. Remove your face mask, please. Okay, she's heading off to go get an ultrasound. <laughs> Let's see what Coral brings home. And Coral bought Teresa the Triceratops. <laughs> okay, can I fit that on there? There we go. That's so nice, Coral. Well done. It's kind of scary, but we'll forgive you. Clem approves of August, which honestly is kind of a red flag, but never mind. Oh! <gasps> Your baby will be born a girl. Okay, okay, okay. Mahina's back home. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. Embarrassed. We know baby is a girl. So, but we do have really bad back pain and we really want some rich food. Okay, can we do a back massage, please? Because her back is hurting. And trimester three starts in three hours time. So we are very close to little Babalaroo arriving on the scene. And we now know that it's a girl. Do we actually bring like an ultrasound home? I don't think we do. There was a mod I used to have that would print one out, but ooh, ooh, we got a little Zen garden, nice. Yeah, we don't. I don't have it as part of this, which kind of sucks. It would be nice to have one, but we do know we're having a girl. However, the ultrasound doesn't tell you how many babies you're having, so we know that it's at least one girl. That's what we know so far. <gasps> and he just asked me to stargaze with him. What? Why are you so cute? She wants to make out with him, but he prefers cute moments. I don't think she's ever really had a partner that wanted the cute moments with her. So I think that's really, really nice. And since Mahina is now fully in trimester three, I am gonna go ahead and move the kittens in to Clem and Keenan's house. <gasps> it's happening. That's it. The baby's getting born. <laughs> What even is that? That little notification. Uh, Mahina was at work acting, like literally in the middle of a gig that only started like three hours ago, but it's happening. We've gone into labor. Can I actually still like send her 
to hospital if she's meant to be at work? I can't. Okay. Have baby at a hospital. Let's do this. It's happening. Can I bring two? <gasps> no. Okay. It's happening. And I earn no dollars. That is so freaking unfair. What? Okay. Of course. Of course it's you. You are just gonna literally all of my babies. All is that Brandon? No. You will just be delivering all my babies, I guess, going forward. We know there's at least one baby girl. That's all we know so far. There's no receptionist for me to check in. Coral is relaxed. <laughs> Almost too relaxed, worryingly so. And I did go to work. I went to work with Lila when she was a doctor. I totally forgot about that. I'm actually so excited to be a detective. I really like that career. And am I am I gonna give birth in the hallway? Like what what is happening right now? Oh, and it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's is that no, okay, it's happening. This hospital is freakishly run by ghosts, which is um super disturbing. Not sure how I feel about that. Coral, you better get here on time. Where are you? Don't why are you walking so slowly? Seriously. Get there right now. Come on. This hospital is so huge that I don't know if he will. I get a lot of T-pos in doctors nowadays. Okay, he's actually gonna be there. No way. He's actually gonna be there on time. Don't know what's going on with Mahina. Neither does Coral. He's like, that's really weird. A whole stack of panics. A whole stack of pre-parental panics. But the VV is here. Okay, we need a peach flavored name. A few of you guys are suggesting Claire for this because of the peach thing. But what I think I'm gonna do instead is the peach juice that I drink all the time is called Robinson's Fruit and Barley Peach Juice. So unless you know, it's probably gonna be a bit confusing. But if because I've explained that to me to you guys, hopefully you understand. Because it's called Robinson's, I'm gonna call our baby Robin. So Peach Jen is gonna be called Robin for Robinson's Peach Juice, which unless you know, if you know, you know, if not, it's really confusing, but I really like the name Robin. I like names that could be boys and girls names. And I feel like Robin is a really cute name. So baby Robin, is there another baby? Okay. She's still in there. Is there another baby? No. Okay, it is just the one. And where is the baby? Where is Robin gone? Okay, it is just one. It's little baby Robin. There we go. Peach Jen has arrived. Mahina is like, oh my gosh, that was so hard. I'm out. But yeah, little baby Robin is here. The next Jen has been born. Coral is freaking out. We don't seem freaked out that often. And he has two days left as a young adult. So in the next episode, not only are we going to get to see Robin as a toddler and see what the next gen looks like, but also we'll get to get Coral on his writing career. I am a bit worried that he, oh my gosh, guys. What? You've forgotten the child! Oh, the baby has changed. Changed slightly since the hospital. But there we go. Baby Robin has arrived. She's here. Peach Jen is here. However, it isn't officially uh, Peach Jen until I switch over. And to do that, I have to complete everything for Pink Jen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it some love. I'm looking forward to getting to know Robin in the next episode. And I will see you guys there. Bye!